probably the thing that's most irritating over the last 10 or 15 years is uh, when this hoax business came alive. We didn't really go to the moon. You know, I got irrefutable proof we didn't go to the moon. You know, that, that's just crazy. Uh, and so I, I, I get irritated at questions like that because the evidence is overwhelming that we went to the moon because people just refuse to acknowledge it. It's funny about the hoax stuff. My dad loves the Buzz Aldrin punching that guy story, even mm. though my dad is not a violent man. It's just, I, it's not even come up in these interviews we've been doing, fortunately. It's not even something we've considered in this documentary, but it yeah. is. I can't believe anyone has the gall to say that to you, because you spent, what, 20 oh, hours that on guy, that? that was the guy that, uh, uh, you know, Fox News 15 years or so ago did a uh, special, uh, Did We Really Go to the Moon? And um, and it was the guy that instigated that was a uh, uh, I've forgotten his name now, but he'd go around pretending to be a History Channel reporter, and he and he would come in with a Bible under his arms, and he got into Buzz Aldrin's office and uh, and. Uh, stuck this Bible out and said, swear on this Bible that you really went to the moon. Well, Buzz said, bug off, and he kept bugging him, and he left the office or something. He, bug, he was following Buzz, and finally Buzz hit him and knocked him down. The guy was going to sue Buzz, but he thought better of it. And uh, So that guy, same guy called me a, couple, a week or so later and it was, I was in bed, we were in bed like midnight. And uh, he started ranting at me that uh, you're a Christian, and, but I know you're a big liar and Christians don't lie. And why don't you tell the truth? You never went to the moon. And I said, I said, well, you got it all wrong. I went to the moon. He said, well, I have irrefutable proof that you didn't go to the moon. I said, well, how about sending me some of that irrefutable proof? And uh, so he sent me this grainy, grainy little cassette back in those days, you know, B BCR. And it was that typical stuff, no stars in the sky, no hole under the lunar module, the shadows are wrong, everything you could easily refute. And uh, then I had one other instance, I was in Tokyo speaking in the, uh, uh, this was one of my Christian missions, and uh, this guy jumps up in the audience and says, swear on this Bible that you, wasn't the same guy, but it was one of his apostles, and uh, <laughs> so uh, I had a big fuss with him, and of course the Japanese are so polite, he, they, they were shocked, you know, why, why could this guy be so rude, but anyway, uh, we had it out a little bit, and, and uh, he got quiet, and so that was the only other time, and uh, that I've been confronted, been on TV, asked by various channels, uh, asking about the, what do you say to those hoaxers. And, uh, I can't believe anyone would bother asking it. It's so bizarre. Uh, it's just better ignored. Well, now I tell them everybody, well, if you don't believe it, all you got to do is go to NASA.gov and uh, search uh, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. And the uh, orbiter has taken pictures of every Apollo landing site. Uh. And you can see our car, you can, on our landing site, you can see the car, you can see the, la the descent stage we left behind, and you can see the experiments package. And then the, the dark area where we walked in between and or drove in between. To me, that's irrefutable proof. There it is, we went to the moon.